welcome to RF, the uprising. Today we will guide you on how to gain level, farm your ace money, gold caps and quest. First, create your character. I will be creating the melee on Bellato. As you can see, we have premium service that is free for new created accounts. Just go outside the HQ, and kill Flim to gain level. You also need to loot all the dropped item by Flim so you can have a starting money, so you can buy your HP potions that you will need later. Explore around the HQ and you will gain a lot of EXP. You can level up until level 40 hit. Once you reach level 40, you can log out and, then log in and you will have a free premium armors, windblade and jetpack. It has higher DSR and defense compared to the int armors that you can buy on NPC. Now time to get my first class since I am already level 40. You need to buy HP potion now so you can tank the level 40 mob which is assassin builder, as mentioned earlier, I can now use the drop loots and sell it so I can buy HP potions. Few potions will do since you can farm on assassin builder more items that you can sell later. Now time to go ahead on Assassin Builder Spot, we have two options to go there. First is using PBTP and second is to go on Outpost. For now, let's use Outpost Way. As you can see, Assassin Builder gave good EXP, and the free premium armor can tank the Assassin Builder cause it has high defense power. You need to loot all the dropped items so we can buy weapon, HP alums, and more potions later. Assassin Builder dropped has high value. I already reached level 48, we need to log out then log in so our free premium armor will give more extra defense. 
power armor now is level 45 from level 40. Kill many more assassin builder here since you can gain more experience, and you need to farm more for starting items. As you can see, assassin builder also dropped weapons and armors here that you can also use. Now I am level 50, need to log out and log in again so I can have level 50 armor. You can always do this every 5 levels until you reach level 65. Once you reach level 65, you won't have free premium armors. But nothing to worry since we have free rental armors and weapon for you that we will quest later. Time to head back on HQ and go to race manager so I can get my second class. We can now sell all the loot so we can have Daland, our raise money here in Blatto. We also need to buy more potions for more farm and leveling. Now we are checking if we can buy those attack HP elements and weapon. For now, we have insufficient money to buy it. We need to farm more in Assassin Builder while leveling. So earlier, we used Outpost's way to go on Assassin Builder spot. Now let us use the easier way to get there. We need to buy our Gold Wasp TP and use it. Since we can't buy the Crimson weapon that has high damage, let's use the weapon that Assassin Builder dropped earlier. Since we are out of HP potions, we need to head back on HQ to buy HP potions, and sell all the loots we have. We have now enough money to buy HP and attack elements. But we need to farm more so we can buy Crimson Weapon for our quest later. There we go, we can now buy Crimson Weapon. It's time now to quest the rental armors and weapon. You just need to find the quest titled Your Story Starts Here. It is a party quest, so you can ask for a help or do it solo. We just need to kill one RHS, 20 Giant Barber, and 10 Bighorn Cannibal. We'll kill RHS first in Outcast Plane. In this situation, we have a friend who also do the same quest. Time to kill RHS. Next, we need to kill 20 Giant Barber on VC. Just be careful since the other mobs are aggressive if you are near them.
since we have attack and HP elms that we bought, we can tank this mobs and our friend will do the DPS on it. Now we are done with 20 giant barber, time to kill 10 bighorn cannibal which can be found on beast mountain. We need to be extra careful here because the mobs here are so aggressive, we need to kill all the mobs on our way. Bighorn carnival is way more easy to kill than the giant barber. Congrats! We have now finished the quest. We can now claim the coupon reward, and exchange it on the hero NPC. As you can see, it will give you the complete armor set that has plus I favor upgrade on it. The DSR of the armor is equivalent to level 67 armors. You can also have plus 5 that is good for PvP and farming as well. It will also give you a plus 5 grace and darkness gloves, and a plus 5 mercy boots if you want to be a dodge type. Then you can also have a perfect elements that is very helpful for your PvP and farming. It has two sets of elements, for attack def type, and attack dodge type. And lastly, you will also have a plus 5 shield. Since we are level 55, we can farm a few gold capsule that we can use for potions like HP pots, stealth pots, attack burst pots, generators, charm and many other more. Your gold points is equivalent to cash point. You can make a new character to farm here on set for gold capsules since the level requirement for farming here is level 55. A raider has been spotted. Malaya Kresha will try to kill us here. We can now test if our rebel armor have good F power and ESR. As we can see, we can survive solo raiders here. He already left me alone. Let's now consume the gold capsule we've farmed. You will notice that I have zero cash point here. Once we consume all the gold points, we can also have cash point in cash shop. You can check if your gold points is adding up here. We have now consumed all the gold capsule, let us check our cash shop if we have cash point. There, as you can see, we have 10,300 cash points, same as the gold point we have. 
we can now buy some premium potions we need here in cash shop. Now, I will show you how to farm Talix here. Just go to Kragmine and kill the mobs. It will drop ores that you can process on ores NPC. Some players here are so friendly, they will give you starting items. Someone gave me 3 days rental gay pan one piece key talic. I just need to combine it on hero, and it will give me a attack ape that has good stats. It has 15% increase of all attack. Crypt equal 20 increase, and max HP FP 15% increase. It will also make your character look cooler. Let us now process the ores. Ores will give you random talix. You just need to farm ores on crag mine. Let's now go back to leveling. Our target is to reach level 60, and once we hit level 60, we can take the quest for level 61-65 that is way more easier than doing leveling. We need to kill Marin Captain since it will give us good amount of EXP and it has low HP. Now, me and my friend is level 60. We will now get the quest on Alarm. Just look for quest NPC, and click it. Choose the quest entitled A Hero in the Making Part 1. Now, let's start the quest. On Part 1, we need to kill one Thunder Lizard, two Assassin Builder X and three Reaper. Let's kill one Thunder Lizard first, it can be found on Beast Mountain. Then we will kill three reapers, it can be found on Biolab. And next is to kill two assassin builder X, it is located in Alarm. Just by Soul Cinder TP, you can buy it on material vendor in front of Coin Exchange HQ. Now we've finished the first part, it will reward us a level up potion that will give one level per bottle. Just consume it and you will level up. It's now time for the next quest, it will be automatically given on your character. Just press J and your quest will be there. Now we need to kill 5 Rake for Draco, 5 Kerr and 5 Skunt Lover. Since there are Skun Lava near our spot, we just need to walk inside the cave and you will find Skun Lava. Then we will now go to Outcast's plane to kill Rake for Draco, it can also be found on Beast Mountain.
Let us now teleport to Volcanic Cauldron where we can find Kurtik Hill. And Tada! Part 2 quest is finished. Consume the reward level up potion again and check for the next quest on your journal. Our part 3 of the quest is to kill 5 Kalyana Archers, 5 Fever Lapis and 2 Tyrant Lizard. So since we're at Volcanic Cauldron, let's kill the Fever Lapis first because it is just nearby. Now let's hunt some Kalyana Archers on Lure's Lot in Ether. You need to buy Kalyana White TP on Uprising NPC near Buffer NPC. And now let's move to Beast Mountain. Just teleport to Outcast's Plane and step backward near the port, and enter the port to Beast Mountain. Let's kill Tyrant Lizard here. Another level of potion claim on reward. Let's consume the potion and we're now level 63. Next, we move to Outcast's plane and look for Fang Splinter. We need to kill 3 Fang Splinter. Now we will hunt Kremel Snatcher Scout. It is located on Kremel Outpost here in Outcast's Plain. Then we will teleport to Bylab to hunt Free Rage Claw. Another level of potion is given as reward. We are now level 64. Time to finish the last part of quest which will get us to level 65. For the last quest, we need to buy ringleader blood axe TP on material vendor. Then teleport on it and move to novice altar where we can hunt Kakra Vafer captain and Narum crawler captain. And lastly, we will find and kill Jewelry Cube that is located on Outcast's Plain and Beast Mountain. We have now finished all the quest and claimed the last level up potion. We are now level 65. It's almost time for CW. We can also join CW now since we have rebel armor and weapon that is PvP ready. As you can see, we have a great PvP here in RFR Prizing. You just need to find a suitable guild for you.
Now time to look for PL for level 65 to 70. Just type in all chat to look for PL. Many players or guild here are willing to help you. You need blue powder so you can type in all chat. Blue powder is found in material vendor. This mobs will give us good experience. Only level 70 can last hit it so it will give EXP. And for level 70 armors and weapon, you can farm the required materials here on Wounded Land. As you can see, those loots are the materials needed for level 70 armor and weapon crafting. You can also help DPS here and wait till you reach level 70 which is the max level. And for Dalent, our raise money here in Blato. You can farm it in Lure's Lot located in Ever. Just kill Kalyana Archer and Assassin Builder and you just need to loot those Glee. Beam and the most expensive is Kalyana Necklace. As you can see, after we sold those loots, we now have 517 million talent. Easy farm. You may visit our website at www.rfthuprising.com for more information about our server. You may also follow and like our Facebook page at https colon slash slash www.facebook.com slash racing for Seth Uprising slash for more updates about our server. Please also support my own page by clicking the like and follow button on my page. Visit www.facebook.com slash LZKGaming.